Well, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to graph y equals 1 third x squared in relation to our parent graph by using our vertex form. Now, when applying this, what we need to do is we then again need to reevaluate and take a look at you know, how is our a going to affect our graph? Because you can see we don't have any h and k's in this form. All I'm doing is multiplying my uh, equation by 1 third. So what I want to do is, when doing a problem like this, even though, yes, we can use our parent graph because we know that the vertex is going to remain the same and the axis symmetry is going to remain the same, but now we're going to have a dilation. So when graphing y equals um, 1 third x squared, I'm going to say a equals 1 third, h equals 0, and k equals 0. So therefore, my graph is not going to shift left or right at all, but now we're going to have a dilation. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back to our table of values to again see how is our a going to affect our graph. However, we know that the vertex is still going to be at 0, 0, and so far is my axis of symmetry. So we can get that information out of the way. So my vertex is at 0, 0, and my axis of symmetry is also at x equals 0. Now, to pick my two points, um, again, what we're going to do is we can pick two points to the left and two points to the right, and then just reflect them over the axis of symmetry, like I did when I showed you how to graph by using a table of values. Um, so when choosing some points, though, it's going to be important. Let's choose points, though, that we can divide by 3. Because then, otherwise, I'm going to be dealing with fractions or decimals, and I don't really want to do that. So um, when I'm choosing my values, and again, I'm only going to choose two points to the left and to the right, I'm going to choose values that can be divided by 9. So we know our point 0. That's our axis of symmetry. So I'm just going to pick two points to the left. So here's x, y. So let's pick, uh, let's do, well, we can just negative 1 and negative 3. And then over here, I'll pick positive 1 and positive 3. So if I do negative 1, that's going to be y equals 1 third times negative 1, which is a negative, oh, it's not doing, oh, one, negative 1 squared, sorry. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Positive 1 times 1 third is 1 third. Then let's go and do negative 3. So y equals 1 third times negative 3 squared. Well, negative 3 squared is going to be, uh, negative 3 squared is going to be 9. 9 times 1 third is going to be 3. So therefore, now I can see going over to negative 3, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go up to 3. 1, 2, 3. And then going over negative 1, I'm going to go up 1 third. So now I can reflect that. So here's my axis symmetry. Now I'm going to reflect these points to 1 third and 3. So over 1 third, up 1 third, 1, 2, 3, up to 3. And you can see when we go ahead and now compare these graphs, you can see that 1 third, what it's actually done is horizontally stretched my graph. You can see that they have not shifted left or right or up or down. But now simply when my a is less than 1 but greater than 0, it has now just stretched the graph horizontally. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. When doing a problem like this, just make sure you choose table values and choose the table values that are going to be the best to multiply by your a. Thanks.